Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In this video, I want to continue the design pattern series which I had started long back ago. So in continuation of that, in this video, I am going to st start with the prototype design pattern. So this is again a creational design pattern. So this is a creational design pattern which is used to create the object or basically if I uh, if I say which is used to uh, basically copy the already created objects. So just let me give you some example or uh, like so what is the intent of this design pattern? So the prototype design pattern lets you to copy the existing object without making your code dependent on their classes. So uh, this is the technical definition. Let me explain this using a simple example. Now suppose if I have a student object which have uh, four where, uh, data members. One is name, the second one is ID, the third one you can assume as a blood group. And the fourth one is an address. Now this is one object which is of type student. Now suppose if I am writing a code where my driver code is using this student class and creating an object of this class. So in that particular driver class if I have suppose I have created a student So suppose uh, in my driver class, I want to create a object of this student uh, class also, right? So what I can do, I can basically create an object which is std1 and suppose I have given name as a vj, id as a 1, blood group as a b positive and address as a Mumbai. Okay, so this object I have created, this is my application you can assume this is in my application I have created this object now situation comes and I have to basically copy this object into a student 2 object or I have to create a copy of this object and this the name of that object will be a student 2 so how we can do that so one way is to like in this application what we can do is we can create a student std2 object and then you can basically create a new student object right new student object and then you have to basically copy one one element from this student one to the student two so suppose this is i have to do i have to create the student two and this i have to copy okay so what we have to do we have to like to std2 dot name is equal to std1 dot name right similarly like each copy each element of that st student one we have to copy one by one so similarly for the id then blood group that is std2 equal to std1 dot blood group right so this is we have to do now if, if i if i show it here so all this like address also std2 dot address equal to std1 dot address right so we have to copy one one element from the student one to the student two so what is the drawback of this approach if i ask what is the drawback in this my application is totally dependent on this student object so tomorrow if i'm going in adding one more field into this student object what i have to do is all the places where i have used this approach to copy one one element 
I have to go and add that new element also. So suppose here we have the address, right? Here we have the address. Now suppose I, for the student, I added the class, class, uh, class standard, class number, you can assume, like one, two or three class. So again, I have to do here also, right? A student two dot class equal to student, student one dot class, correct? So this this is the drawback. The other drawback what we are, we can see here. Now just assume that out of these four elements, two is the private element of this particular class. So in this case, these two elements we cannot copy like this. This is not allowed, right? We cannot access the private element out of this this class. So this is the two drawbacks you can see using using this approach where you are manually trying to copy one one element from student one to the student two so how this prototype design pattern is solving this problem so let's see how we can solve it so let's see how this prototype design pattern solve the problem which i stated on the paper so what the problem we saw that we have a student class and it has basically four data members one is name id blood group and the address and to illustrate the problem i have made these two data members as a private now it has one public constructor which is no args and it has again one more uh, public constructor which requires some argument to initialize these data members again i have a driver class here where I have created a student one object by passing these four values and it will basically call this constructor, this argumented constructor and create one object student one, right? So in this student one, all these value will get initialized. Now, my requirement is to create a student two, which is just a copy of the student one. So the problem which I stated on the paper, right? So if you are following this approach where you are just creating a student object and then you're copying each element one by one but you see this problem these two elements you can copy because these two elements are a public elements but if you're trying to copy the third element which was a blood group or a address which is private element you'll not be able to do it so you can just try it here if you see std2 dot see blood group you are not getting it right std2 dot blood group will not get as an option it is saying that because these two are private members, you cannot access this. So this is the one problem. And now assume if you have a large set of data members in that student class, you have to do this operation at all the places where you want to copy it. So the best example of the prototype design pattern is, uh, is a clonable interface provided by Java itself. So if you go and see what we can do is we can we can implement a clonable interface so if you see this is a clonable interface already provided by java and if i have to create a copy of this student what i can do i can go and implement this clonable interface here you can see there is no method defined into this interface but we can create a method which can create a copy of this object so this is one of the interface provided by java itself but to demonstrate this prototype design pattern, I will go with the my own interface which I have defined as a prototype. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, see in this prototype design pattern, basically we used to have a prototype interface and in this kind of interfaces, we just have one method which says get clone. So this is only one method in this interface defined. And what we have to do is in this student object, we have to implement this interface. So we can implement this prototype interface and again we have to implement the method also. So we will just implement this method and in this return, right, we have to just call this new student, uh, which is basically this, this constructor which we have created, right. So we will call this new student and pass those four arguments from here. So we can just copy this to this remove this string 
So what I am doing is I am passing here the caller's value into this constructor. So once you do this, this get clone method will create a student object by passing the value of this callee of name, ID, blood group and address and assign that newly created object into that variable. So let's see how we can do this. In this driver class, what I can do is instead of doing these, these new, new keywords, right, I can simply go call student one dot get clone method. So because it is returning that you can see it, the return type is prototype, right? So we have to typecast it into that student object. And once you do this, this student one data members will get copied into the student two also. So we can see it here by printing the value. So it is system dot out dot print ln and just assume that this is student one student one dot two string. I have overridden this to print the value system dot out dot print ln student two string so now if i am going to run this code let's see the what let's see what is the output we are going to get so here you can see i i have a student one object which is having this value as a vj name id1 blood group a plus and address mumbai when I ran this code, right, student one dot get clone, it went and created a new object. So, okay, here there is something like printing thing. I can correct it. It will be clear to see it here. So, you can see it. So, this student two, which is the student two variable, again having the same value. So, with this approach, with this so with this approach, we can simply go and copy the data members of one object into the other object. So this is one benefit that we can copy the private data members also. And the other benefit which I already stated on the paper that my driver class is basically not dependent on this student class. Now the student class itself is taking care of creating a copy. So tomorrow if I am going to add a new variable in this suppose i'm i'm saying private uh, just take anything string uh, phone number okay so phone number so if i'm going to add this right this student class only has to take care of this by adding this phone number equals okay so we have to pass it here also right string phone number okay and here also and basically again I will do this to print the things clearly and generate uh, to a string so see if I'm going to add anything or any new variable in this, right, I don't have to go and uh, do the copy part here again. This copy will be, this part I don't have to touch. So this, uh, so this part I don't have to touch, right? I have to just go and add it here. Suppose phone number, I can add it, any phone number. So, okay. And so this is a phone number you can see. Now you can see I'm not going and touching this clone part, right? So if I'm going to run this code, it is again giving me the exact result. It is copying the phone number also. So this is a very uh, nice and clean way to copy one object into the other object.
So this is all about prototype uh, design pattern. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and press the like button. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.